your very first news update from Frontline News. News from where you need it most. Today we have a special update on a riot which happened yesterday at the Nazareth Synagogue where a little known preacher has been turning heads. Eyewitnesses claim that the preacher read from the book of Isaiah and talked and talked about sharing good news with the poor, setting captives free and giving blind people their sight back. More from our reporter, Dr. Luke, at the scene. Hi, I'm Dr. Luke with Online News. I'm standing at the synagogue where Jesus came to preach. At first, witnesses thought it was a good thing. I thought it was a good thing. Then the locals got upset. Jesus talked about people doubting him and God healing others. Who does that Jesus kid think he is? I've seen him in nappies. Isn't he Joseph and Mary's son? There's nothing special about him. That kid's up himself all right. Then he tried to talk about God loving foreigners. I mean, seriously. He said we should remember the times that our people didn't trust God, but foreigners did. What did you do about it? We got so angry, we got up out of our seats and threw Jesus out of town. Then we dragged him to a nearby cliff to throw him off. But Jesus just walked through the crowd and went on his way to talk to another town. He just walked through a mob. How? No idea, but he did. I saw it with my own eyes. You're not doubting me, are you? No. There you have it, folks. Jesus talked about loving everyone, which started a riot. Jesus walked away unharmed. Back to you in the studio. Well, sounds like it was quite the eventful day in Nazareth. This Jesus character certainly is causing a stir. Jesus really seems to have a message of God's love and healing for all people. He claims to be here to give sight to the blind, share good news with the poor, and to set the prisoners free. I, for one, am looking forward to hearing more about this guy. But it seems that not everyone is happy about this message. Well, folks, stay tuned for more news from where you need it the most on Frontline News.